It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. It's your feel good breakfast show. Express on SABC3, where the mystery continues to evade us. What do we call Zoe's pants? I, I thought I'd call them candy pants. No, they are. Retro, like retro capi. They're not. They yeah. are ZBZ pants. ZBZ pants. Hashtag espresso show. Help us name Zoe's pants. But onto another topic right now. Hoverboards are very, very cool. Have you guys ever thought of riding a hoverboard? No. You know that thing that like floats in mid air like a skateboard. Like five. Basically. Yeah, exactly. Man. Exactly. Yeah. And so over the past years, we've shown you ones that work on jets. Some of them work on magnets. But I think we may have finally found the realest version of the hoverboard yet. Take a look. On a specially designed skate park in Spain this past week, the next evolution in hoverboards made its debut. Called the slide, it floats about two inches above the ground. But like any new invention, it takes a lot of getting used to. Professional skateboarder Ross McGurran was the first to try the new board, but had to endure plenty of falls in his attempt to master even the most basic moves. That's perhaps not surprising given the fact that the technology is so new. After hours of practice, he finally got into a rhythm, and the results were spectacular, with probably the most exciting aspect being the fact that you can ride over water. So, how does it work? The hoverboard relies on superconductors and magnets, which work against gravity to lift the board and rider above the ground. That cool-looking steam coming off the sides isn't decorative either. It's liquid nitrogen, cooling the superconductors to minus 196 degrees Celsius, the temperature at which they become superconducting. As an art of material science, the system does not need electricity at all. Using just the superconducted material and magnets, liquid nitrogen is poured over the superconductor to cool it down and keep it cold to maintain the hovering effect. The magic is not just in the board though. In order to work, the skate park itself had to be constructed with magnetic rails buried underneath. The repulsion of the magnets are positional poles forces spaces between them, resulting in the hovering board. So, unfortunately, the board won't work anywhere else. But despite its limitations, it's still a pretty cool effect when you're able to jump over cars without ever touching the ground. With the final prototype completed, no doubt the hoverboard will continue to see evolutions in its design. And perhaps one day in the not-too-distant future, we'll be hoverboarding everywhere we go.